Greetings, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about analyzing changes in Mount St. Helens using the Change Matters Viewer from SRATE. Now, the Change Matters Viewer can be used all across the world to analyze changes from human impact, like urban sprawl or agricultural expansion, or from natural phenomena, like volcanic eruptions or coastal erosion. So what we're going to do today is look at the changes in Mount St. Helens over the past few generations using this Change Matters viewer. Now Change Matters runs online. All you need is a web connection and a browser and you can look at these live Landsat satellite images. Now the ones I'm looking at here are in the infrared part of the spectrum. So we're going to see changes in vegetation quite easily. Now the third panel is the veg increase or decrease according to the Normalized Differential Vegetation Index or NDVI. If you don't know how to interpret a change image, you can pop up a help guideline as a map for you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at 1975 to 2000. And as we do that, we're going to see some images before the volcano had its most recent eruption, or the big eruption that sort of changed things in modern times, in 1980. So we're going to look at an image of 1975, and we're going to look at an image from 2000. We're going to be able to see the lateral blast and the direction that it moved, and we're also going to be able to see vegetation increase and decrease. You can see the decrease down the mountain to the north, but you can also see some vegetation increase on the top of the peak. Fascinating to be able to look at this. Now let's change the dates from 1990 to 2000. So now we're going to see both post-major eruption. We're going to be able to see how the trees have regrown, especially to the northwest of the volcano and to the northeast. Now those of you that have been up there or are looking at ground images, these aren't just sort of wimpy little central United States trees. These are Pacific Northwest trees. These are large lodgepole pines and others. So these are very large trees that have grown back. I visited there about 1991 and it was about head high for most of the trees that had regrown. Now they're quite a bit higher. But being able to analyze the impact of things like a volcanic eruption easily using not only the infrared, but you can look at natural color, you can look at uh, other themes in here, other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. So you've got different bands in the electromagnetic spectrum, you've got different scales that you can take a look at, and you've got a global coverage. So you can look at, for example, coastal erosion in different parts of the world. Let's take a look at the coast of England. Let's take a look at Lake Chad. Let's take a look at the Aral Sea. Let's look at the Three Gorges Dam in China. Urban sprawl in Dallas-Fort Worth or Rio de Janeiro. Lots of things you can look at with this single tool called the Change Matters Viewer. I encourage you to do that. changematters.esri.com slash compare. Thanks. Great tool for geography, environmental studies, geology, even urban studies, and even such things as sociology, and also business. So take a look at this, the Change Matters viewer. All you need is a web browser and spatial thinking and a curious mind. Thanks.